You might remember that we are not updating the electric field component on the left edge of the grid, specifically EZ at location I equal 1 is initialized to the 0 and then it also stays 0 because we never update it. What does this mean physically to have an electric field always equal to 0? Let's look back at table 7-1 again. In this table we can see basic parameters for electromagnetic waves propagating in different materials. You may recall alpha here in the first row, which describes the attenuation rate of waves in the materials. And the skin depth, delta, is equal is the depth at which the fields have decayed to e to the minus 1, or 37% of their value at the surface of the material. The skin depth is defined as 1 over alpha. For free space, alpha is equal to 0, and this means that there's no attenuation of the electronetic wave in this skin depth then is inf infinite. So this means that the wave will propagate forever with no attenuation. Let's consider the other extreme, a very lossy material. For this we can look over here in the good conductor column. Alpha here is equal to square root of pi f u sigma, which means the skin depth is 1 over square root of pi f mu sigma. Since pi and mu are just constants, and since the frequency range of our application is held constant from 902 to 928 megahertz, this means that for any good conductors in our model, as sigma increases, the skin depth becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. And as the skin depth shrinks, the electric fields in the material decrease faster and faster into the material until the limit where if the conductivity is infinite, I'll say if the conductivity is infinite for a good conductor, or if it looks approximately infinite to the electromagnetic wave, then the electric fields are equal to zero everywhere in the material, even just an infinitesimally short distance into the material. And this is exactly what we have when we set an electric field equal to zero in our grid. When the electric field is zero, we're assuming the material at that location is a really, really good conductor, even a so-called perfect electric conductor, or PEC for short, for an abbreviation, and it can be assumed to have an infinite conductivity, making the skin depth equal to zero. So what happens when an electromagnetic wave reaches a PEC?